Hello again, as you can see, back out of the bell tent from the uh, canvas tent shop. Got it set up in the woods here, which um, was a little bit more challenging in than in the uh, field I did last week. Um, obviously it's a bit more uneven, there's rocks and roots and stuff under the ground. So I'm on a little bit of a skew, but I've got a flat area where my bed will be, so I'm all right. Um, it is equally as muddy though. <laughs> We've uh, just come out the other side of Storm Brendan, which is what was picking up when I last had this out. Um, I mean, it's beautiful today, but it's still just boggy everywhere. So I'm uh, going to do two nights in it. I've got the uh, Winnowell stove pretty much set up now with the oven and everything, as you just saw. Um, I've done what I did last time where I've pegged down the um, top of the spark arrestor, just to pull it back a little bit because of the oven being quite large on the uh, flue there. Yeah, I'm just taking a uh, second to have a sit down. Uh, the tent itself, pretty easy to put up. You do need that mallet. But um, everything together, including the stove, obviously takes a bit of time. And I have to go to the truck every time in the mud <laughs> to get all the bits. But uh, yeah, nearly there. A bit of a fire pit and uh, the bed. And then I can have a proper rest. <laughs> I'm actually getting a bit hungry so uh, I might light a fire, just a small one, 
and cook some food uh, to keep me going. Uh, maybe just some sausages or something like that. But I've got plenty of wood. Um, just found some birch bark over there as well. So uh, yeah, I'll just get that going first. For ease, I'm just going to start it with a couple of these wood walls. My favourite fire starter. I'll stick some of the birch bark on there. I tried a little bit of it and it wasn't great for whatever reason. Got another new toy to play with here. It's the Bitty Big Q barbecue grill. It's uh, pretty cool. I've actually wanted it since uh, I saw Simon Bloke in the Woods using one. Check that out. Just unfolds, unfolds again, and then your legs just unfold. And it all locks in, and then your grill doubles in size. It's really cool. Looking forward to testing it out. I went out and bought some Christmas lights after the last camp because they were the dangly ones. So this setup's going to be a little bit neater without them kind of dangling in my face. And uh, yeah, good amount of light. Not quite as much as before, but um, I think that was too much. This is uh, this is nice, especially once you get the glow of that fire going. Oh, and it's powered by. You may remember the All Powers uh, inverter solar generator that I reviewed a while ago. So, because I've got to charge other things, drone and camera batteries and everything on this trip, I thought I'll bring that and I can use it for the lights as well. Like last time, I'm going to use foil sheet under 
the top sheet because this uh, mattress hasn't got any kind of thermal value. It's not like for real camping, it's for like a spare bed in your house really. I could not bring this again. <laughs> The same table as on my last camp as well. It's a good fold out one. Goes very small. Very handy in here actually. Bringing in leaves. I've got some uh, wood I've chopped down. Oh, the owl's going. <laughs> um, some of these blocks as well, again, because they went well last time. And I've got some left over. And I'm just going to get it going with these wood wool. Chop down some kindling. Looks like we're going pretty well now, so I'm just going to close up a bit. You get no smoke coming back down through this one, like I used to with my Outback uh, Frontier Stove style one. Just no smoke in here whatsoever. It all draws straight away. Love it. What I've got here is the uh, get a Velcro off first. The Winnowell fast fold oven. I think it's designed really to um, go with their folding uh, stoves. But um, I've got it as well as the uh, the flue oven there, the pipe oven. So I thought I'd give it a go and you can see it just folds open. Like so. And then you have some clips and just fasten around it. You've got the lid. There we go, and that's set up. Got two grates to go inside it, like so. And uh, the reason I wanted this one is uh, slightly more capacity than the smaller uh, pipe oven one. Yeah, if I turn it. On its back, you can see it's got this mesh here. Really let that heat through. So it'd be interesting to try it out. A bit more room for what I'm going to cook for dinner. Which I'm going to have to get on the go because I'm doing a live stream this evening. It's a Sunday evening at the moment. You may have already seen that. You may have missed it. <laughs> got some potatoes. I'm going to parboil them in my kettle before I put them on roasting with the uh, beef that I've got. Just a small roast. Roasting joint, probably silver side or something. So I'm just gonna use the silly knife, which has no control whatsoever. There we go. Don't need all of these to be honest. Yeah, that'll do. It's only me. <laughs> I've got some oil here that. Um, was just heating on the tray on top of the oven here and uh, I'm just going to stick my potatoes on that so I'll put the spuds at the top there and my beef which has got pepper and salt on on the bottom there Let that heat back up and see how it goes. It heated up pretty quickly last time. Just having a break like the mug says. 
got a mug for indoors for in the tent. I've got my normal GSI stainless steel one for out by the campfire. It's good to sit down for a minute. Dinner's all on. The uh, beef and the potatoes are in the oven. Which seems to be up to temperature. And uh, yeah, just hoping that that's done by the time the live stream starts. Um, got another hour, I think, so it should be alright. Otherwise, the live stream would be of me dishing up dinner, which I don't think people would complain about. <laughs> uh, it's uh, minus two outside at the moment, and it's 23 ish in here. I mean, it depends where you are, the higher you are, the hotter it is. I've also got the uh, front door half open as well because I've got to get the heat up for the oven but I don't want it to be too hot in here so it's getting that happy medium. I mean, it's very comfortable and it's uh, nice to uh, have a cuppa. I hate to do this as a one-handed thing but god that looks perfect just pink in the middle and some gravy. And I've got nine minutes before the live stream. <laughs> so I better get this down me. Good morning. I had a good sleep last night. It uh, got pretty cold in that tent after the uh, fire died down. Uh, I didn't bother getting up to stoke it up or anything. I just snuggled down. I had my um, free season sleeping bag and uh, the quilt as well. I was fine. I even had the, the sheepskin over the top too. <laughs> just lit a fire outside, do some outside cooking. No point in coming out and uh, just spending all the time in the tent, as cosy as it is. <laughs> yeah, get this going and get some breakfast on. Brought a few options with me. It's got breakfast today and tomorrow, so I don't think about what I fancy. You probably guessed already. <laughs> the uh, live stream went well last night.
There we go, it's not too bad. I've got a robin friend, I'll try and get him on film in a minute. He's uh, circling camp, landing on everything. No ketchup today, but I have got some uh, maple syrup to go on the pancake. It's, uh, should have warmed it up a little. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Got the stove on the go here and um, some bread flour and yeast and that I brought with me. Just warming some water here. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter in that to melt whilst the uh, butter warms, whilst the water warms. <laughs> but it's warm to the point that the butter's melting, so that'd be soft enough. I'm not going to add it all at once. Learn that lesson. Just going to cut it in with this knife before I start kneading it. Well, it's pretty much come together now. I did make it slightly wet, so it took a little while to get it to this point. But that's a nice, nice dough now. It's not quite lifting everything off the bowl, so I'm just going to leave that to proof by the fire here it's doubled in size. This dough has doubled in size now. So I'm just going to knock it back a little. I'm going to transfer it into here and leave it for a second proof, which shouldn't take as long. So I'm just knocking back the air out of the dough and get it rise again and it'll be a more even rise without big bubbles. Still a little bit of a wet dough in all honesty but hopefully we'll be all right. So just transfer that to the loaf tin. Cover it over so it don't dry out. And again, just leave it by the fire here. Okay, it's time to get this loaf in the oven, ready for my lunch. And we'll see how long that takes. Oven's a little cooler, so I'll stoke it up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, moment of truth. I left it a little longer probably because the fire died down, but uh, that's uh, not a bad looking loaf. Well everything's looking good. The beef from last night is nice. The bread looks good. I don't have a serrated blade to cut the bread unfortunately. So it's going to have to be the, uh, the silly knife as I call it. was a bit warm to be um, slicing, but uh, it's quite all right. A couple of slices of that beef. A few slices of tomato. Those are up. a little crunchy on the bottom.
Well, I have been carving. It's another spatula similar to this one. Needs some fettling. Nothing special, but it's a nice little relax for a minute. <laughs> come back in now it's getting quite cold fires dying down out there if I get this going because I'll put dinner on in a bit get some mud off that gonna keep it simple tonight pizza and chips Well, look at the fries, pizza, and brew dog. If it doesn't fill me up, I do actually have another pizza. Oh, that's hot. And guess what? No ketchup. Just because I haven't got any with me. <laughs> bon appetit. Well I'm in a bit of a rush this morning, so here's my kind of pre-prepared breakfast of the egg I boiled last night and the bacon I did and the uh, bread I baked. Uh, and I got a little hot sauce from an MRE. So that should uh, keep me going. My Robin friend's back, just sat on the guy line there. <laughs> Don't come in the tent. If I move for the camera, he'll fly away, but he's right at the edge of the tent. 